hello students how are you all hope you all are doing very well right so welcome back to my today's class and uh, our today's topic will be noun so before telling you about a uh, noun i want to uh, tell you something that uh, please watch the video till the end because before uh, ending the video i will uh, give you some tips so that you can improve your english okay now before jumping into the topic let's uh, try to understand uh, one thing the purpose the basic purpose of all the languages that we are using is to communicate with others to express our uh, inner thought our feelings to others right in the process to express our thoughts our feelings we use various sentences right now it can be a small one or it can be a large one but we use now uh, each sentences has different parts and all these parts has its own names so noun is among one of these parts right now um that's why we call noun a uh, parts of speech or a part of a sentence now let's come to our today's topic that is noun now what is noun what is noun so noun is a naming word noun is a naming word so all the things all the uh, things that we have given a name uh, like person animal things place and all these are these names are called noun so basically noun is a naming word or we can say like this a noun is the name of a person place animal thing feeling state or quality various types of nouns are there but in this class we will learn about the common noun proper noun collective noun concrete noun abstract noun possessive noun countable noun uncountable noun and compound noun let's start with the common noun a common noun is used to refer to people places or things in general like teacher dancer mother girl man day month they all are common noun If we give these common nouns a particular name like Anuja, Ravi, Sunday, January, the Eiffel Tower, etc., they will become proper noun. So a proper noun is the name of a particular person, thing, or place. Let's learn about the collective noun. So a collective noun refers to a group of animals, birds, things, or people. like a pride of lions a herd of swans a galaxy of stars an army of soldiers etc now it's time for the concrete nouns concrete nouns are the names of the things that we can see touch and feel like bucket well mangoes bags these things we can see we can touch and we can feel but few names are also there which we cannot touch or see but only feel they are known as the abstract noun like brave to bravery accept to acceptance friend to friendship all these feelings ideas qualities or states are known as the abstract noun we can form abstract nouns from verbs adjectives and common nouns now possessive noun possessive noun describes who owns a particular thing like the girl's dress ravi's room the lion's mane my book my mobile etc possessive noun describes the possession of a particular thing nouns that can be counted are called countable noun like chair table day train a chair two chairs one table three tables like this but some nouns are also there that cannot be counted they are called uncountable noun like air water rice milk petrol you cannot count them you can only measure them now let's learn about compound nouns compound nouns are nouns formed by joining two or more nouns the meaning of the compound noun can sometimes be completely different from the words used to form it like time plus table together they form timetable black plus board together they form blackboard well plus being well being dry plus cleaning dry cleaning etc 
Have you understood now? What is now? I think you all have understood. Now, do one thing more that after watching this video, do some exercises from your books so that uh, you can improve more. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, you have heard about this proverb, right? That the uh, practice makes a man perfect. So the more you practice, the more you will become perfect. Now it's time to give you the tip. Students, if you want to improve your English, I would suggest you to speak English continuously throughout the day. You may face a trouble at the beginning, but believe me, it will not be there after some time. So speak in English as much as you can and use small sentences to express your feelings. Okay, so that's all for our today's video. We'll meet you in our next video. Stay tuned for that. Goodbye to all of you. Have a great day.